Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us see how to install Git in Windows and Linux as well. So first, uh, I have you know logged into the Windows machine, and uh, here you can go to git scmcom and from here we can download the package for Windows client. So here uh, you can click on download for windows so uh, here uh, 2.44.0 is the latest version available so i can click here to download this version and you can also install other versions available and uh, there are portable versions as well and uh, you can find a 32 bit and 64 bit as well okay so i have downloaded this uh, git 2.44.0 version so let me install it okay i'm just double clicking on this okay so here accept the GPL license click on next and uh, you can select the path where you want to install the git which is program files and git and here uh, I'm not selecting any changes so you can just go ahead and uh, click on next with the default selection and this is the start menu folder name and uh, here choosing the default editor for using git so you can choose uh, based on your preference so i'm going to select uh, visual studio code here and uh, it doesn't allow me to click next so i need to click on this visual studio code and let me download it So let me download and uh, install the VS code. Okay, I'm running the setup file. Click on next. Okay, click on finish. Now let me go back to the git installation. So let me click on back and next. Okay, now I see the next option enabled. Click on next. And uh, here uh, there are two options. So uh, whether you want to let git decide or override the default branch name for the new repository. So the uh, previous one is called an, a main and uh, here the default one is master which is currently selected so i'll leave it uh, let it let git decide option and click on next and uh, here uh, you can select the options git from the command line and also from third party software as per the selection and click on next and uh, go with the use bundled open ssh and uh, click on next click on next use min tgy the default terminal of my sys2 click on next click on next okay and uh, git credential manager click on next next and install Okay, so the installation is complete. Let's launch git for bash. Okay, so we have launched the git windows application. So let me run git version. So now we can see that our git version 2.0. 44.0 for the windows 
okay and uh, once you have closed it and if you want to launch it again you can search with git bash that's application you want to open and you can you know use the git commands so we can also manage the git configuration using the git config command git config user dot name so currently there is no username configured so to configure it we can use git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name you can mention the name here that you want to configure okay, now if i type git config user dot name i get the name here and uh, to set up the email address you can also use git config global user dot email and then followed by the email address okay and uh, you can run git config user dot email and we can get the email configured okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you